Three surprising NXT stars working SmackDown dark matches last night. Brock Lesnar has been fined $1 million. And Goldberg claims that he really shut those flippers up with his crown jewel performance. Stay tuned. So three NXT performers last night taking part in SmackDown dark matches. Two of these names are especially surprising. The one that I think is not so surprising, Raquel Gonzalez. She had a dark match defeating Tony Storm. Yeah. And then also in dark match action, Brutus and Julius Creed, the Creed brothers, losing a match to the Viking Raiders. Obviously, the Creed's not been in NXT for very long at all. Yeah, this is the this is the kind of more whoop. Uh, out there one I, I don't know if it's if it's more that they're just gonna we're gonna see more of these maybe we're gonna see more kind of call-ups just to get people used maybe. to larger audiences but if this is a fast pass like this is this is quite the fast pass isn't it that's it. Immediately, people do jump to the conclusion that this means, hey, they're going to get called up really, really soon. <laughs> um, but we've seen in the past that that has happened and that that hasn't happened. Dakota Kai did a bunch of dark matches and she's just returned to NXT. Um, so it doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to be see th seeing them on the blue brand or on the main roster generally. Um, and especially we're like with the Creed brothers, they're in a stable and everything. And it'd be sad to see uh, that just gotten started. It'd be yeah, sad to just see to them pulled that. out of there. Yeah. yeah uh, but you may have missed this. As well, the Creed brothers actually were on the show itself. Nah. Did, you, did you see it? Did you see no. it? Um, so during the usual 24-7 bollocks, yeah. Reggie getting chased and all that, um, out there the Viking Raiders chasing him, Drew Gulak, Umberto Creo and Angel Garza, um, and also the Creed brothers. So they were there. Smackdown nice. debut for two NXT stars who've been there for no time at all. Congratulations, <laughs> Who big do boys. they think they are? Speaking of big boys... With big fights, oh. Brock Lesnar has been fined legit. <laughs> how's he? How's he gonna pay this? What's I, Sable I, it, gonna say? Li it, it's literally like a tenth of his Saudi Arabia money. <laughs> this. He must be. He must be gutted. Brock Lesnar has been fined one million dollars. <laughs> that was good. That really topical. Uh, so yeah, during the show, uh, Adam Pearce announcing that Brock would be fined a million dollars. Uh, due to his absolutely abhorrent behaviour. Uh, mm. And actually, I, I, so, I mean, obviously it's, it's not real or anything, but yeah. the fact that they've just added this on, on an extra week, like a, a week on, makes me think that maybe, just maybe we're going to see Brock back to address this or do something sooner rather than later. I think a lot of us weren't expecting to see him back for a little bit. But yeah. the fact that they've, they've, they've sort of continued this story when they didn't have to when it was seemingly just to write Brock off maybe he'll be back a little bit sooner there's something going on with Adam Pearce he's not the Adam Pearce I remember he's not the Adam Pearce that was you know the happy chappy that was just going about and doing the best he possibly now he's just got a vendetta against Lesnar it's ridiculous but uh yeah I like that he did the promo from his office in you know WWE headquarters it felt very mm. kind of demeaning but the, I, I couldn't help but laugh when it was like find a million dollars like, okay, yeah, let's roll with it. But yeah, I think as you're right, I think we're going to see Brock maybe back to dispute it or just cause more havoc. Uh, maybe Brock's going to cause even more of a mess around the ring. I can't Destroy imagine it. that, just, Sam. Okay. Just, just have him German suplex yeah. the ring. It'll be fine. He, he doesn't have it in him. He doesn't have it in him. It's, it's the, the biggest fine that I think I can remember in WWE. Let me know in the comments. It's, I'm probably forgetting it's something. A it's, a big it's a It's a It's a big one. Uh, also on SmackDown, Drew McIntyre debuting a new finish. So he took oh. on Ali, Mustafa Ali, uh, using the Kimura. And like, I, th I think it's cool. I think it really, really suits yeah. Drew, actually. I, li I like him using that as a finisher mm. but also to me this indicates that maybe maybe he's going to be turning heel a little bit soon i'm probably reading too much into this but drew needed freshening up he's over on smackdown now but he's not going to be the top guy on smackdown because mm. there's a top guy in roman reigns on smackdown maybe brock lesnar in the not too distant future who knows so i don't see him doing that so actually i think he sort of probably needs freshening up otherwise they're at risk of him getting a little bit stale as he was in maybe the last few months of his recent yeah. raw tenure and so could this be possibly an indication that a heel turn's coming? I well, want to see it. Yeah, I can see it as well. Uh, like, not that Drew's a high-flying wrestler or anything, but, you know, Drew's finishes are quite, you know, over, and people enjoy seeing him hit his finish. So it, it makes sense when you go heel, you don't do the things that people enjoy. You switch it out for something new, and you tend to get a lot of just horrible, wrenching kind of submission finishes that are deliberately kind of against 
like it just contrasts with the, the prior style, doesn't it? So it, it it would be nice to see Drew just have that little heel run. I think it would be, yeah, as you said, mm -hmm. just a, a good freshener. Again, possibly reading too much into it. It's always nice yeah. when a wrestler, <laughs> uh, when a wrestler has a, a couple of finishing moves. Like it's good yeah. when they got, especially when it's like a submission alternative. Um, so it's, it's good to see he's, him. Add he's that going to be watching arsenal. this, just going, boys. I just want to do a Kimura. Because, yeah. you know, he watches everything, definitely. Come on. Yeah. That's, oh, he's a, he's, a, he's a big fan of our work. Hit subscribe, Drew. Um, next up, Goldberg has commented on his WWE crowd, oh. crown jewel performance, rather. Uh, obviously, he defeated Bobby Lashley in that no-holds-barred match at crown jewel, which was unexpectedly brilliant. Really, really yeah. enjoyed it. <laughs> big moments. The finish, obviously, was was bonkers. Goldberg picking up the win there, but people weren't so upset because it was actually just a brilliant match. Like, I'd have preferred Bobby to win, whatever. Yeah. But it was it was a really, really fun match, full of big moments. And then speaking on his CarCast podcast, Goldberg said, I don't have the best track record in Saudi Arabia. I've knocked myself <laughs> out. I've dropped Undertaker on his head. I needed to redeem myself. I'm not happy with my performance, but I'm satisfied uh, I'm satisfied with it to a point where I think I shut all these beepers up. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, uh, and he also mentioned about basically like how much he respects Bobby Lashley, saying, "If you want to know about me and Bobby behind the scenes, let's just say that Gage Goldberg is Wonder and I's son, and there's no freaking way that I'd let anyone on this planet touch him if I didn't love and trust him. Bobby's a great individual, and I wanted for years to be able to have a program with him. I'm just honoured that he let me do it. It was fun getting some payback and kicking his ass in the end was icing on the top of the cake. Goldberg also revealing, of course, that he only has one match on his current WWE." contract which is uh, goes against what we thought I thought he had a fa I thought he had like three yeah. more in him but he's, he's got one more so you expect whoever he goes up against next in case they don't renew the contract like he's going to put someone over well, the, this is the thing. He was, uh, it was like a good few days ago now it went live, but the interview was before Crown Jewel and it was from a Saudi wrestling YouTube outlet. So not a lot of people have found it, but in this interview, just kind of at a presser, you know, like the, the red carpet type pressers, um, he, he actually mentions that he's he would be interested in re-signing and, and, you know, carrying on and I'm sure he would but uh, you know if the company doesn't want to doesn't want to renew that then yeah we could potentially be seeing Goldberg pass that torch who would you who would you have him pass it to I don't I know see, I want to see Walter this is Genuinely, the thing. I think Walter would be, be like great. the perfect guy for it I think this you've got to use Goldberg in, in the way that he's not too overexposed you got to let him just get in there with power moves and mm -hmm. just let him be Goldberg one last time you know I he could put literally anybody over, but Walter is a very good shout. Thank you very much, Sam. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't. Know. I, it did sort of remind us that Goldberg can still do it, right? Yeah. He can still, he can still play the hits. Essentially, he's he not going to give you a right technical classic. Setup. Yeah, yeah, and but it doesn't necessarily mean that I still want to see more of him. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, yeah, well done. It was better than the stuff that you've done, but we're, I think we're a maybe, bit tired maybe of you. do the last match, and if you need to, do a cinematic one or something in your garage. Oh no, I'm done with cinematic <laughs> matches. I can't no, deal we can have a car chase matches. and everything. Uh, no, absolutely not <laughs> for me. Uh, and we are finishing off with Tony uh, Tony Schiavone's comments on a potential AEW streaming service. It's something that Tony Khan has touched upon in the past, and it makes a lot of business sense that they would want to get away from Fight TV and launch their own deal because profits would essentially be higher once that yeah. tech is implemented, once they've got it all. Shivani giving his thoughts on the matter during a recent edition of Ask Tony Live on ad-free shows. Why did I do a Terence and Philip voice there? I don't know. Ask Tony Live. <laughs> yes, I do. I think we're going to see a streaming service, Philip. This is my thought. I don't know anything for sure. At which point he farted. <laughs> uh, just by talking to people. <laughs> I'm going to stop this. I don't know what I'm doing. I've just woken up. Leave me alone. Uh, so Tony said, uh, yeah, I think we're going to see a streaming service. Uh, this is my thought. I don't know anything for sure. Just by talking to people, I think there's going to be a streaming service by the end of 2022. I think it's going to come very, very soon. I do know that there are people in Warner Media that knew. They said, you know, that AEW is going to be a part of HBO Max. And then he asked in the front office and he was like, oh, we're going to be on a HBO Max. And they went, I doubt it until they want to come up with a lot more money. And he said, so I think we're going to get uh, end up getting our own streaming service. I'm just trying to fill in all the blanks here from what I've heard. It's not really on Tony's radar right now, despite his comments in previous interviews. Uh, and I'm sure there are people in the office that are working that out for him. Like, obviously, uh, it's, a, it's a difficult thing to, to set up. Bandwidth costs yeah. especially are, are huge. 
um, and you don't want to launch something and have like the issues that Peacock have been having or with WWE, the initial especially network with live launch. stuff. Remember that? Yeah, it was it was a disaster. It was it was it was pretty bad for a while. Um, so you want to get it right straight away, make sure that tech works. But again, like the development costs of something like that are going to be pretty damn high. The bandwidth costs are going to be pretty high. But at the moment, they're paying Fight to do that. And obviously, exactly. they've got the technology already. But yeah. Fight will be taking a, 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 a fair cut from cut, that. Yeah. And also, if AEW have their own thing, it sort of, it, to me, it's like, it, it feels like it's theirs. It feels yeah, bigger, that, doesn't it? If it. you're watching I, it on the yeah. AEW network or whatever, it's like, it's a proper thing, not going to Fight. One thing, like in, in, in the modern world now, we're rapidly moving back into a, you know, things are harder to watch than ever before because there are 9 billion streaming services. But when it comes to like sports and things like that, I, I you know, I, I just feel like they have, like, because the NFL has, you know, their own stuff going on. Like, the you, know, you can watch football, you can do all sorts of different stuff. There's, like, wrestling, WWE has theirs, Impact has one, like, UFC probably has one. There's just, everybody's got their own little services. And it's kind of like, almost, that's the stamp that, I don't know, you've got the full library of it. it it's just there to, to go back over. I think that's what people want. And, you know, you can catch up, you can produce content for it that's in and around that maybe you wouldn't normally do they can take more yeah, risks sure. and more chances and it just makes sense yeah, uh, that, that's that's a good point i don't think fight are going to be putting any sort of restrictions on them as far as yeah. the content that they put on there but aew if they do want to move over to their own thing then it's theirs and they can get away with a lot more as we've seen with the wwe network in the past obviously peacock came in and they made all these alterations these edits yeah. because it doesn't fit with their company's messaging their, their corporate values or whatever um so anyway we'll keep you updated on that Thank you, Terence Shivani, for your comments. <laughs> uh, much appreciated. Uh, I've been Adam. Uh, he's been Sam. I'm off for a week and a half now. I know. So you enjoy it, mate. You enjoy I'm going to enjoy Cesaro versus Volta. You are going to walk into this office, and I, I'm going to try my hardest to make sure it's not that gif where, you know, he walks in with the pizza and everything's on fire. That's... Yeah. Fingers just, crossed. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I, it, it, I, I'll, I'll be in prison anyway. I'm going to shoot on water. I'm going to get front row and I'm going to chop that little just bitch's tits off. the barricade. Just go after it. <laughs> right. Pull up your clothes to reveal the AJ Hazard pants. Oh. Right. See you in a bit, everybody. Take Bye. care of yourselves. Bye-bye.